What we have here is another very cool clock radio made by General Electric. It's actually a, an a, FM AM clock radio cassette recorder, as it says right there. By the title of the video, you'll know what the model is. We'll look at that here in a second. Pretty standard control layout. It actually has a slider for the volume, which is interesting. Really small snooze button, which also doubles as a seconds display. Some of these controls are a little dirty, and the unfortunate thing about this is the brightness. This is high brightness. And you can see the brightness switch really doesn't seem to work very well. Like I said, pretty standard controls. You get fast forward and reverse, and of course slow forward and reverse, which is pretty nice. If it's in low brightness mode and you hit time set, it goes into high. There's a speaker, which is a really generously sized speaker. You get the tuner knob, as well as the FM AM switch on that side here. And nothing on that side. Go ahead and take a look at the bottom here. We can see, or maybe not, Turn on the light and completely destroy my battery. This is a General Electric 7-4956A, which sucks up 6 watts of output. And if we take a look, here's the battery compartment here. There is no battery. 4829M on the date code, which I would take to mean 1988. Alright, so let's go ahead and just have a listen to the radio. We are in FM mode right now. So then we'll turn up the volume. Now it is a little scratchy, or at least it was. And that seems to be okay. This radio sounds great. change it to AM here. Which ought to be really good because it's uh, early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, none of these are local stations. Listen to all that stuff. The NFL planning a top-down review of officiating. A great That's a local station. Let's see is this. Opportunities. Plus, Michelin will waive the 
There's a lot of interference, which I'm presuming is probably caused by the UPS that this is plugged into. And he's the last local station. All right, let's go ahead and set the alarm. And have a listen to that. All right, and that is pretty much going to do it. Yes, I know it's got the cassette recorder, and I haven't even demoed it yet, but I can't. See, it's got this nice little soft touch, but watch what happens when I push play. It's a lot of noise, but neither of the two reels actually move. The belt is shot. All the belts are shot, because the pinch rollers don't move either. Makes a lot of interesting noise, though. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.